Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gdaybiya Palace. The cabinet highlighted the importance of the talks held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Hungary, Katalin Novak, for furthering Bahraini-Hungary relations. The cabinet emphasized the importance of the Isa Award for Services to Humanity and promoting global humanitarian efforts in memory of the late Emir Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa. In this regard, the Cabinet noted the high turnout of the ISA Awards 5th edition. The Cabinet also noted the importance of the Middle East Oil, Gas and Geosciences show, MIOS Geo, held in Bahrain and commented that the conference provided a platform for innovative solutions in the sector. The Cabinet commended the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation for winning the World Championship, which is a further proof of the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements in sports. The Cabinet congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on the anniversary of its founding day and noted Saudi Arabia's progress and development, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and supported by its Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Cabinet congratulated the leadership, government and people of Kuwait on its 62nd National Day and its 32nd Liberation Day. The Cabinet noted Kuwait's progress and development led by the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah and supported by its Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. The Cabinet discussed and approved several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding several draft laws aimed at advancing the Kingdom's tourism and real estate sectors. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Ministry of Health and the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh and Dentistry. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision to establish and form a cooperation committee between the Capital Municipal Council, Municipal Councils and Government Authorities. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the continuation of initiatives implemented in 2021 to 2022 to enhance the Kingdom's regional and global competitiveness in the aviation sector. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the preliminary financial outcomes for the fiscal year 2022. The memorandum outlined an increase in total public revenues in comparison to the financial outcomes for the fiscal year 2021, which is in line with the Kingdom's commitment to implement economic and development priorities and programs. The data further revealed a compliance in actual expenditures with the levels in the state budget for the fiscal year 2022, which contributed to reducing the total fiscal deficit by 85%, compared to the deficit estimated in the budget to 178 million Bahraini dinars for the fiscal year 2022. The Cabinet then took note of ministerial reports regarding the visit of the Minister of State for the Middle East, North Africa, South Asia and United Nations at the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office to Bahrain. The outcomes of the Kingdom's participation in the 7th Annual Arab Fiscal Forum, the 9th session of the World Government Summit, the Al-Quds Conference, the second edition of Arab Meeting for Young Leaders. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the CEO of Halliburton, Jeff Miller, at Gdaybia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of oil and gas forums and conferences such as the Middle East Oil, Gas and Geosciences Show, MIOS Geo, to address the sector's challenges and achieve regional and global energy goals. He emphasized the oil industry's importance in driving economic advancement as well as the private sector's role in supporting efforts to achieve the sector's sustainability and contributing to providing quality opportunities that support overall economic growth. His Royal Highness further noted the importance of adopting the latest oil production technologies and initiatives to support sustainable economic and environmental growth. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to environmental preservation and fulfilling its green obligations in line with international agreements. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Oil and Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dayna, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the chairman and the board of directors of CEO of Baker Hughes Company, Lawrence Simonelli. His Highness affirmed that Noga Holding is keen on implementing the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in order to advance the oil and gas sector in the kingdom by building distinguished partnerships with various advanced companies in this field, in addition to promoting investments in line with Bahrain Vision 2030. The CEO affirmed that the oil and gas sector in the kingdom is following a clear steps and approaches at all levels due to the kingdom's strategy to promote this important sector. His Highness discussed with the CEO ways of cooperation and partnership in these fields. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also received the president of Chevron International Exploration and Production, Clay Neff. His Highness stressed the importance of exchanging experiences and enhancing cooperation with major international companies in the oil and gas sector, in addition to strengthening initiatives aimed at promoting investment in the oil and gas sector. His Highness noted that the success achieved by Bahrain in the field of oil and gas in light of the directives of His Majesty the King and the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, stressing that the Kingdom always looks forward to develop this sector, which is one of the important sectors in the Kingdom. For his part, Enef praised the great efforts made by Bahrain in the field of oil and gas, which made it an important source of energy, stressing Chevron's keenness to cooperate with the kingdom in various fields of oil and gas. They discussed opportunities for cooperation for the development of the oil and gas sector. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also received the CEO of Halibut, Jeff Miller. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the importance of continuing to adopt further initiatives and strategic plans that contribute to raising production efficiency and developing the oil industries in Bahrain through cooperation with international companies in accordance with directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in developing developing the oil and gas sector in the kingdom. For his part, Jeff Miller praised Bahrain's initiatives in the field of oil and gas and its keenness to develop the work system in the sector, stressing the importance of cooperation between the two sides in related fields. His Highness discussed with Jeff Miller aspects of cooperation in the field of oil and gas. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the Middle East Oil, Gas and Geosciences Show, MIOS Geo, held under the slogan Today's Realities, Tomorrow's Energy, with the participation of more than 15,000 senior officials, engineers, specialists and academics from around the world. 
Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the show reflects the support the oil and gas sector receives as one of the promising economic sectors within the framework of the comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for patronizing the biannual show, which reflects Bahrain's high status in organizing these scientific gatherings and its keenness to achieve global aspirations for the optimal use of energy. He commanded the efforts of Noga Holding led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and taken the necessary initiatives to continue advancing the oil and gas sector and its industry to enhance the role of the oil economy as an important resource for the state's public finances. He noted that the MIOS Geo Conference is an opportunity to exchange knowledge and expertise and review the latest studies and successful experiences in the oil and gas exploration programs. For his part, the Oil and Environment Minister and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for patronizing the event. He affirmed that the oil companies under Noga Holding always strive to achieve the strategic goals aimed at strengthening the national economy. The Deputy Prime Minister reviewed the products included in the exhibition that represent the latest technologies in the oil and gas industry, in addition to the experiences that have contributed to the development of the oil projects with high efficiency and low cost.
The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended the Interior Ministry Tennis Challenger finale for the individual category. Advisor to His Majesty the King for Youth and Sports Affairs, Saleh bin Isa bin Hindi, Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan bin Najib Tawfiqi, Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, Chairman of the Bahrain Tennis Federation, Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, and tennis fans attended the match. The Interior Minister hailed the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to sports activities in Bahrain, which led to international sports achievements. He valued the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to enhance Bahrain sports by creating the appropriate environment and all success factors. He asserted that the adoption of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to many youth and sports initiatives created a turning point in the sports system. He hailed the skills of the participating teams and players, the sporting spirit and the honest competition. The minister thanked the Bahrain Tennis Federation for their active cooperation with the Public Securities Sports Association and Officers Club and the integrated efforts that led to the competitiveness and the success. He said that the games involved international players among the 100 classifiers in the International Tennis Federation. The minister hailed the role of the organizing committee in meeting the requirements for major international tournaments. At the end of the match, the interior minister and the chairman of the Bahrain Tennis Federation distributed trophies among the winners and commemorative gifts. I'm pretty sore, happy to get through. Uh, I was playing a player very high on confidence, um, a young player that hopefully, uh, you know, he's looking to do some, some great things in this sport, but I'm happy. I wasn't sure how my body was going to stay together this week and it's hurting now, but I'm going to take a week off and uh, yeah, I need it. I'm hoping I don't injure myself more. I'm hoping it just stays, stays sore, but, but not too bad. So um, I knew there was big points at stake and, and I need to get my ranking to a career high where I think I should be. So um, I, I wanted this win bad and I'm happy I got it. You win some, you lose some. I guess uh, I gave my best. I tried to fight till the end, but uh, Tanasi played uh, very well. Uh, I came up short, but it's a week I should be proud of. Uh, a week sh that should push me forward to many more like this, hopefully. And uh, that for sure gives me a lot of confidence. And uh, one match doesn't define the whole week, I guess. So I'm, I'm happy with the level I've been uh, playing throughout the whole week, so I hope I continue. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Sudan, Ali al-Sadiq, and the accompanying delegation arrived in the kingdom today on a two-day visit. Upon his arrival at Bahrain International Airport, al-Sadiq was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, the Charge of Affairs of the Embassy of Sudan to Bahrain, Abdel Rahman, Ali Abdel Rahman, and a number of officials at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In the presence of the Minister of Oil and Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Dayna, Bahrain STC announced the completion of the first stage of the Trees for Life campaign to plant 35,000 trees in various regions of Bahrain. On the occasion, the minister affirmed that the campaign highlights the environmental and climate cooperation between government institutions and the private sector to adopt programs and projects aimed at increasing the number of trees and enhancing Bahrain's efforts toward adapting to the effects of climate change and fulfilling the commitments to implement the goals of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. The minister hailed the national role and environmental responsibility of STC and the authorities participating in the campaign and the efforts made during the first stage. Foreign Affairs Ministry Under Secretary for Political Affairs Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa delivered a speech in a session entitled The Middle East, Palestine and Israel as part of the Munich Security Conference at its 59th session in Germany. 
Sheikh Abdullah affirmed that a Bahraini diplomacy has placed the values of peace, tolerance and coexistence at the forefront of its main objectives, which contributed to consolidating Bahrain's prestigious international status. The Under Secretary indicated that the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the support and follow up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister believes that dialogue, openness, and building understandings is the right way to renounce differences and end conflicts, and that peace represents a permanent gain for all parties. He called for the need to guarantee the rights of the brotherly Palestinian people to establish their independent state according to the principles of the two-state solution. Uh, Your Excellency, do you see a change process since the signing of the Abraham Accords in terms of the Palestinian leadership's reaction, which at the beginning was a massive uh, rejectionism, which I believe also led to tensions with, for example, among the Emirati leadership, who was very much attacked. Do you see a potential for spillover to, um, of, of the prosperity bringing dynamic that we're seeing right now that can involve the leadership and that will lead to a, uh, the Palestinian leadership and that will lead to their willingness to come on board and see how they can benefit from this very promising dynamic that we see right now. Thank you. Sheikh Khalif al Cyrus, you. We in the Kingdom of Bahrain very much do care about the Palestinians. We care about their well-being, we care about their security, and we care about the future. And Bahrain will do everything in its capacity to support the Palestinians to achieve their own independent state with east of Jerusalem as its capital. The relation between Bahrain and Palestine has always been very strong and very healthy between His Majesty the King and President Abbas, between the peoples of Bahrain and Palestine. And I believe having relations with Israel will, in fact, contribute to the chances of achieving peace in the region. We have seen how our brothers in Jordan and Egypt are contributing heavily into uh, shuttle diplomacy, into easing the tensions whenever there is any escalations uh, between Palestine and, and uh, Israel. And I certainly do believe that even with the Abraham Accords, we should keep the momentum ongoing. We should portray how the benefits and the fruition of peace is reflect on the daily lives of people. And we are very much optimistic of the future. There are many challenges ahead of us, but the cornerstone for the region's security and stability of the region remains to be achieving the two-state solution. The president of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, met with the officers and members of the BDF a Royal Guard search and rescue team while the team was working in the Hatay region in southern Turkey in its humanitarian relief mission operation Sawaid al ghaith to search for survivors and find injuries and victims from under the rubble in the areas affected by the earthquake in Turkey under the direct supervision of the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. President Erdogan expressed appreciation to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, for his noble sentiments, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain and its people from all harm and to maintain its security, prosperity, and progress. He also expressed thanks for the solidarity of the government and people of Bahrain with Turkey in overcoming this natural disaster. The Ministry of Health called on all citizens and residents to take anti-vaccinations and booster doses of the vaccine against the coronavirus and its new variants. It aims to enhance prevention of the virus and raising everyone's immunity against moderate to severe infections. In order to maintain high community immunity rates against the coronavirus, the Ministry of Health was keen to provide the vaccine annually at the beginning of the season so that those wishing to receive the vaccine could get them. The ministry recommended all target groups to take the vaccine, including children under the age of five, adults over the age of 50, pregnant women, those with chronic diseases, and others to take it for their protection. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority, in cooperation with the Ministry of Interior, continues to implement inspection campaigns targeting commercial shops and labour gathering places in the various governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
in order to ensure the legal conditions of employment addresses legal practices and holds violators accountable. The LMRA is intensifying its efforts and adopting a set of effective measures leading to addressing various illegal practices in the labor market in all governorates of Bahrain. The LMRA renews its call to all members of society to be active partners and report any illegal practices in the labor market either by filling out the electronic reporting form on the authority's official website or by calling its call center.